Hey everybody, so thanks for tuning in for this video. We're gonna be going over the SR Rigid Rails or Suppressor Ready Rigid Rails. Um, these rails were a really cool project for us. Uh, what we wanted to do was we wanted to create an M-Lock compatible rail that featured seven sides of M-Lock interface as well as incorporating our signature ID reinforcements on the rail itself. Those reinforcements basically reduce the flex of the rail, the, the ability of the rail to you know, flex out of its true position. Um, so they make it much more structurally robust. And what that means is that if you are into hunting or night shooting and you use lasers, things like that, um, you're gonna have a more consistent point of impact. Uh, and so with, with that, we've really enjoyed you know, shooting these rails at night. Um, this obviously is a carryover from the low pro rigid rails which we've had out for years. Um, but this just provides you with more real estate for your M-Lock attachments, um, as well as that tried and true uh, rigid engineering. Um, also, we have incorporated the much easier mounting clamp in the rear. So there's no more shims or anything to time the rail with. So it's just a slip fit uh, with four T15 fasteners that torque to 25 inch pounds each. Uh, and that gives you a ton of clamping force there's no need for any anti-rotational geometry on the rail itself uh, because the torque required to shift that rail when those fasteners are installed properly is uh, pretty ridiculous um, and you can't do it by hand. So really nice rail system, very clean uh, and a lot of capabilities with it. Now SR rigid means suppressor ready rigid and what that means is that we have come up with a geometry that allows a one and a half inch outside diameter silencer to be able to interface with this rail. Um, that actually came from friends of mine uh, in the south in Texas that were doing a lot of hog hunting and things like that. They wanted to be able to run a silencer, keep the firearm uh, to a relatively normal overall length, but they wanted to also be able to uh, run a silencer and they wanted to have their hand further out towards the end of the firearm so that they could better control the accuracy of the firearm when they were not shooting off of a tripod or a barricade. So if you're standing or shooting from the seated position or, or you know kneeling, something like that, you know if your hand is further out on the rail, you're going to be able to have better accuracy. So that's what this provides. Um, you know, keep in mind that silencers do get very, very hot, and so if you keep your hand out here and you're running a silencer under the rail, uh, you're definitely going to feel that get warm at a, at a point. Um, but you know, for the hunting application. Uh, when you're only taking you know 10 or 20 shots or something like that um, this just allows you to have you know better accuracy in the field um, as i noted this rail series will accommodate silencers up to one and a half inch diameter and it will do that while affording free float capability to the barrel and the silencer combination so that means that we have designed into the rail I don't know exactly how much tolerance, but there's definitely tolerance there all around the silencer. So the silencer is not going to be touching your rail. You're still gonna get really great accuracy with it. So that is basically the overview of the rail itself. Um, you know, I guess one thing I didn't touch on is the clamping system on this rail. Uh, this is a carryover again from the uh, new Low Pro Rigid rail series. And this clamping system uh, affords a lot of torque holding capability. Um, there's four fasteners, T15 fasteners, that you would install the 25 inch pounds, and that will give you a ton of clamping force. There's no anti-rotation features on the rail or anything like that that is needed um, just because the clamping force is so, so good with that. So without further ado, we're gonna go into the installation of this rail and just show you how easy it is. So we're going to get into the installation of the rail now. Okay, this is a pretty easy rail to install. Uh, we're going to install the barrel nut first, then followed by the gas block assembly, then followed by the rail itself. So first you're going to take your included armorer's wrench. This is a pretty cool wrench. It has a lot of different features on it. Uh, we're going to be using this multi-pronged uh, feature here to install the barrel nut. This barrel nut is aluminum. 77.5 aluminum, so it's high quality, aircraft grade, strong aluminum, but nonetheless it is aluminum. So you're gonna to want to adhere to the 35 to 85 foot pound range of installation. Less than 35, that's just not enough torque. Over 85, you could deform or damage the barrel nut. 
So step one is slide this thing on over your barrel. And you'll notice all these grooves in the barrel nut are what actually provide with uh, the clearance to install the gas tube. So we're gonna actually just throw our wrench on there and make sure that we get our torque down to uh, 35 to 85, like I said, and that we're lined up with one of the slots. Then you're gonna take your gas block assembly, guide it into position. Then you're going to install the two set screws on your gas block if you're using a Griffin gas block. Um, if you're using a different manufacturer, obviously follow their installation procedures. Uh, once your gas block is installed, then you're gonna take your rail and just slide it over the top of that. And then you're gonna take your T15 fasteners and you're gonna basically just snug all of them up by hand. So once you've snugged up to your rail and all your fasteners are kind of snugged up, then you're going to need to use a calibrated inch pound torque driver. I'm using a Wheeler fat wrench right here. And I'm gonna to wanna to select, select the torque to the 25 inch pounds and then tighten up all the screws. And that is it. Um, once you snug up all four of these screws to 25 inch pounds, uh, installation is complete. Um, you're ready to shoot your firearm. Uh, just make sure that if you decide to run a silencer under the handguard, that you allow the uh, firearm to, the, the silencer to cool before you remove it. Also, if, you're, if you have your hand out here and the silencer is underneath the, the, the fore end, you'll obviously you know, feel it getting hot and that's kind of a self-correcting issue where if it does get hot, you know, you can just slide your hand rearward um, to regrip the firearm. But that's it. Really cool uh, series of rails. They're gonna be available in a lot of different links. I think we have like six or seven links planned for this rail system. So any link that you want, uh, we're pretty much gonna have in stock for you and hope you really enjoy them. Feel free to leave a review on our website if you really love them or on the uh, website of the Griffin dealer that you bought them. Uh, definitely follow us on Instagram, Facebook, as well as hit our website, griffinarmor.com. Uh, if you want to sign up to our newsletter to see different videos and cool content like this. Thank you for watching.